Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to be taking a little trip down memory lane. I'm going to be talking a bit about my coming out video and my experience with coming out as bisexual. I came out a year ago today. I might be posting this tomorrow, so a year, a year and a day ago. So I came out a year ago and a lot has happened since then. So I just want to give you guys a quick update of how things are different for me um, and my experience with everything because I feel like these kind of videos are super helpful to um, kids who are questioning their sexuality and kids who want to come out and are scared and worried about the reactions that they're going to get and um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys my experience on that uh, just because I think that maybe someone will see this and relate to it and it'll help. Also, I don't, I didn't make any like talking points for this video so it might just be a giant mess. We shall see. I came out as bisexual and that was terrifying. Um, it was, oh my god, I was so nervous. Like thinking about that, I'm just, like, I just get nervous. I first came out to my friends and it was never a big thing because I I feel like for years I have been telling people I'm like yeah like I like girls are pretty I don't know when I first told my parents I was like hey so like I like boys um but I also like girls so just like don't be surprised if I bring home a girl or a boy or anyone in between but they took it pretty well, they just kind of said, okay, and then we left it at that. And then I made my coming out video. And then after that, I didn't really come out to like my grandparents or my extended family, but I guess that they saw my video. Yeah, it was actually really sweet. My grandpa sat me down and he told me that he was that he knew, obviously, um, and that he was super okay with me dating whoever and that it didn't change the way he felt about me, which is just, it's something that, like, everyone sometimes needs to hear. In the past year, I've just become so comfortable with who I am. That whole process of, like, self-exploration is so fun and exciting because you can never stop figuring stuff out about yourself and, you know, at the time when I came out, I was like, I am bisexual, I'm 50-50, I am attracted to both genders equally, and since then, I figured out over the past year through, like, you know, dating different types of people, like, what I'm attracted to, and, you know, I, I came out and I said I was, like, 50-50 attracted to guys and girls, and, you know, I think that still stands true, um, but sexuality is fluid. One day I could be feeling ladies more, one day I could be feeling guys more, and I think like recently um, I tend to gravitate towards women. So yes, in the past year I have cut my hair, I have dated girls, I have dated guys, I have dressed super feminine, I have gone out looking like a little boy. Um, and you know, it's that's part of the fun in it. I love being out. Like I love being my authentic self and you know, it 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 feels so good to know that there are people that accept me for who I am and not everyone has great experiences with coming out because you know, it it all depends on the type of people that you're surrounded with, but I've been lucky to have the right people in my life. A year ago today, I was in a pretty different spot than I am now. I am so much more comfortable and confident with who I am and I think that I've had a pretty great experience with coming out and you know it's only been a year and I know a year feels like forever but four years from now I will, I could feel completely differently and I think that sexuality is fluid and everything is fluid and you never know where you're gonna fall on that spectrum. But, you know, I'm excited to continue to figure myself out and I hope that 
anyone watching this video can relate in a positive way and you know it I think it's super helpful to have those like positive outcomes out there because you know there's a lot of negativity surrounding the LGBT community I feel like and it doesn't it doesn't have to be this big terrible thing like coming out should be celebrated and it's incredible and you know one day hopefully no one's even gonna have to come out to anyone because it'll just be normal and until then you know I think that embracing who you are is important yeah if you guys have any other questions for me about my coming out experience um, feel free to leave a comment down below I will be answering questions in the comment section to all of my fellow bisexuals out there happy bye week celebrate who you are so feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you want uh you can hit that subscribe button if that is of interest to you thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope that it resonated with at least one person out there i will see you very soon bye